Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about sleep and wake up as well as producer consumer problem. So let us start with sleep and wake up. So first of all, what is sleep and wake up? Now we have already seen Peterson solution as well as TSL and action that is test and set lock and exit instruction for achieving mutual exclusion. But the main disadvantages of all these mechanism is busy waiting means all these mechanism are suffer from busy waiting so first of all we must know what is busy waiting and why it is required to prevent this busy waiting so first of all busy waiting now whenever any process wants to enter in its critical section and if that process is not allowed to enter in its critical section then that process need to wait until some other process that is in critical section will exit from the critical section that is known as busy waiting. Let us take example. Suppose we are having one process. Now suppose this process wants to enter in its critical section over here. But right now this resource means this printer is already allocated to this green process. This process need to wait. So this process will wait up to here so this is nothing but a busy waiting and this approach waste the cpu time and we have to prevent the waste of cpu time that's why we have to prevent busy waiting to prevent busy waiting we have to use sleep wake up primitives now let us see what is sleep and wake up primitives these are the two inter-process communication primitives. Now let us see how this primitive works. First one is sleep. It is simply a system call that causes the caller process to be blocked or we can say suspended until some other process backs up. Now whenever any process wants to enter in its critical section but due to some other process is there in critical section this process is not allowed to enter in its critical section then in such case the process is to be blocked until the process that is in critical section will exit from the critical section so it's a simply a system call that prevent a caller process to enter in its critical section until some other process will wake it up second one is wake up it is a simply a system call that wakes up the process this primitive is called by a process that is in critical section so whenever a process is there in critical section and if that process is exited from the critical section then at that time that process will call a wake up signal to the process that is there in sleeping mode so in this way the sleep and wake up primitives will work now let us take the example again in this example whenever this process will reach over here but if this process is not allowed to enter its critical section then this process is in sleep mode now whenever this process green process will exit from this critical section over here this green process will send a wake up signal to this red process so sleep primitive will prevent this process to enter this critical section and this process will goes into sleep mode once this green process will exit from critical section this green process will send a wake up signal to this red process now next move further to producer consumer problem so first of all what actually the producer consumer problem is producer consumer problem is also known as bounded buffer problem now in this problem there are two types of process either a producer or a consumer and both of these process will share a common fixed size buffer so this one is our buffer having four slots and these are the two different type of process first one is producer and second one is consumer now this producer process 
will simply produce some information and put it into buffer so here this producer has produced this item and put it into buffer consumer process this consumer process will simply consume this information by removing it from the buffer so these are the two different type of process either producer or a consumer now let us move further what actually the producer consumer problem is now here we are having two different types of process other producer or consumer and this one is buffer having four slots now we are having three possibilities either buffer is empty first possibility second possibility either buffer is full and third possibility either buffer is partial filled or we can say is partial empty so let us take first possibility that is buffer is empty right now there isn't any item in this buffer so in this case if the producer if this producer want to produce some item into buffer is it possible yes because this producer having enough space to produce item or to insert item into buffer so this producer can produce item into this buffer second possibility whenever buffer is empty right now buffer is empty consumer wants to consume some item from this from this buffer is it possible no because there isn't any item in this buffer then what the consumer will consume it's not possible so first possibility is over buffer is empty now second possibility that is buffer is full all the four slots are filled by this producer now again producer wants to produce more data into this buffer is it possible no there isn't any free slot where the producer will produce item so here producer is not able to produce item now consumer want to consume is it possible yes there are four items so consumer can easily consume item from this buffer now third possibility is partially filled or we can say partially empty in this case a producer wants to produce yes can produce because two slots are free now consumer wants to consume yes two slots are already filled means two item are already there in buffer so consumer can easily consume so all the both the possibilities are possible now here the actually producer consumer is there this means whenever the buffer is empty consumer cannot consume any item and whenever buffer is full producer won't produce any item or you can says producer cannot produce any item that is the problem means the problem is to make sure that producer won't try to add information or data into the buffer if buffer is full and consumer won't try to remove data or we can says information from the buffer whenever the buffer is empty that is the producer consumer problem that we have already seen over here buffer is empty consumer can't consume buffer is full then producer won't produce now what the solution for a producer whenever buffer is full still the producer wants to produce then what the solution is there for producer simply producer either go to sleep or discard the data if buffer is full once the consumer remove an item from the buffer it simply sends a signal to the producer to put data into buffer so in this case producer must have to sleep or we can says producer must have to go to sleep mode if the buffer is full until the consumer will consume some item from that buffer and notify for the wake up signal now what is the solution for consumer means if the buffer is empty still consumer wants to consume data from buffer then what is the solution in this case in this case consumer can go to sleep mode if buffer is empty and 
once the producer produce some data or we can say information into buffer it sends a wake up signal to the consumer to remove data from the buffer to use it so here we are using sleep and wake up primitives to prevent continuously busy waiting to prevent the waste of cpu utilization that is known as producer consumer problem thank you very much